everybody welcome back to another episode of Chrono Trigger um, we're here at the Ocean Palace let's just continue right where we left off here okay looks like we got some more monsters let's just take care of them like we do anything else Ooh, luminaire that's a new thing I might have got this while I was leveling last episode and didn't even realize it let's just go see how much damage it does I know a lot of these bats are resistant to anything that's not their own element but I'm interested to see how much it does to these guys Ooh, well it kills those two because those are both you know light ones okay but that does a whole lot of damage now it does use 20 MP so it's definitely not something that I can use very very often um, so I'll have to keep an eye on that but it's good to know that I have luminaire now because that is a super 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 strong um, uh, magic ability and I might be able to use that against the next boss pretty effectively as long as it's not, of course, immune to light damage here. This bat should be dead with Robo's head. There we go. Ooh. Oh, we're on an elevator. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to fight some people while we go down this elevator, apparently. Okay, good enough. Let's go ahead and attack the blue guy. Make sure to get him out of the way here. With him, hit all foes. Damage high when HP is low. Okay. Go ahead and do an aerial strike on one of these yellow dudes. Because we have to wait for him to get his shield down before we actually can attack him. And he's vulnerable. Ooh, nice crit. Okay, about 815, that should be enough to kill him. We got a nice little aerial, that should be enough to kill him, which is good. Okay, now we can... Oh, he... Okay, there's his shield. I guess we needed it. Wait a little bit longer and hit him once. Only one guy left and one more hit from Chrono. That should seal the deal right there. Okay, easy enough. Let's keep moving on. Another fight. Let's go ahead and use Luminaire again. That should actually kill everyone because the only bat here is specifically the one that we can hit with Luminaire. So this should kill everyone and make this fight really, really easy. I will have to restore his MP at the end of this. But we don't even have to worry about having a long, drawn-out fight here. We'll just get rid of all of them at once. Perfect. Alright, this one we will not use Luminaire because there's a lot of magic. These are all magic bats, so I'm just going to do... And let's not go back up this elevator. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, there's two doors with the button. Let's hit the button first. This that doesn't do anything, right? We need to get but we probably need to defeat the enemies in both of these rooms first. Okay. Easy enough. We just gotta get rid of them quick enough so they don't Dang it, they did the Delta Force. As long as I would have just got rid of one of them, they wouldn't have been able to do that, but um that's fine. I'll just heal with a robo anyway. His healing ability is crazy, so. Do it again? Flip the switch. Let's quickly... Oh, I, you know what? I'm not going to even bother. I was going to say, let's make sure there's nothing in there. But actually... I'm not going to do that. Let's just go back in here. Missing another couple of bats. I wonder if I can just do Frenzy. Okay, I did a really, really quick Frenzy, and this should hopefully kill him. Okay, so they won't even have a second to do Delta Delta Force. Perfect. Ooh, nice crit. Ooh, that one crit actually killed him. Okay, now we got away from the sap. Here we go. And another crit. Dude, Frog is still good at critting. Perfect. Flick the switch. 
And that should be good, right? Should give me like a bridge to walk on now. There we go, yep. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure the heal beam going. Man, I'm gonna take a risk and. Is there a save station? Okay, I was gonna waste some healing. It's a good thing I didn't. Elixir, perfect. Let's go ahead and go here. Apparently, I wasn't in the saving like I usually am. Shelter, no? There's a shelter. Okay, cool. And do a quick savey save. Okay, we're all level 40, 41, 40. You truly made it all this way. Perhaps I did underestimate you. But this is the end. My pets will put a stop to you. Come forth, Golem sisters. Okay, here comes the boss, everyone. Shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully, hopefully. Two Golems this time. Halves HP, okay. I'll make sure to have to... Let's do Luminaire. I want to see if that does a whole lot of damage to him. I just want to see if it does do a lot of damage. 1,000, that is a whole lot. Let's, ooh. That is, let's go ahead and Luminaire again. That is a lot of damage, like. Let's go ahead and give Robo a giant heal. Oh no, he's dead. Okay, well anyway, we did another Luminaire. I don't, yeah, I don't know how many Luminaires it'll take to kill these guys, but Luminaire is crazy OP, so I'm guessing it won't, wouldn't take too many. Let's go ahead and use an Athenian Water, and I'm just going to keep using Luminaires, honestly. I don't know how many it'll take, but we are absolutely flying through these guys. Okay, Robo's dead again. Yeah, I think we're definitely over-leveled. So, if you guys have watched the last episode, we leveled up quite a bit. Okay, let's not use that. Let's go ahead and use a raise. We leveled up quite a bit. Um, how much HP does he get? Let's use that on him. We leveled up a whole lot, so I'm not surprised. Okay, I need to get a heal off here. I really need to get a heal off, so... You know what, I might just try and just keep getting some high potions off. High potion, high potion. And then, you know what, I'm gonna do a heal just to top us off here. Heal beam. That's, oh no, that'll, frog is dead now, okay. Well, that heal beam is slightly useless because frog is dead. Okay, let's go ahead and try to use a raise. No, let's use... Oh, I don't have any more MP. Okay, well, let's try to raise with Frog. And then, I guess we're out of Luminaires, but we'll just keep doing normal physical attacks. Okay, yeah, this guy does a whole lot of damage, which is fairly annoying here. Okay, Heal Beam. Let's go ahead and... We can't even cleave. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a um, mid ether. No, we're gonna do a high ether. Where's my high ethers at? Oh, it's all the way at the bottom, right? High ether, there we go. Just so we can do some more luminaires. We're gonna do a cure two. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and get Frog back up to full. Just so we don't have to deal with his HP anymore. And okay, so now we can use Luminaire again. Get Frog to full. So now hopefully Robo can just straight up out heal them. Heal beam. Um, let's do a frog squash, and let's go ahead and use another luminaire. Get another heal going. Robo's a little low again. I'll have to make sure to keep an eye on him. But he's got the highest health of all of them, so we should be able to heal him back up. How much damage does this do? What is a big frog? Only 200. Okay, then we definitely just need to keep spamming luminaire, because this... This, yeah, this magic ability is extremely broken at the moment. Blurp Mimic Dalton? Oh. Okay, oh, this one's not dead. I 
this one must have got hit with a counter at some point, and that's why. But the counters wasn't that much, so this should be able to kill him right here. Yeah, this should kill him. What? Okay, well, he only have HP, so that's fine. Oh, no, 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 Okay, that's good. As long as he didn't hit Robo, that's fine with me. Ooh, he had a counter and a normal hit. Oh, crap. I gotta make sure I heal. Oh, but it's dead. Okay. Well, ugh, Robo didn't get that XP, but that's all right. Grr, the sisters too. I suppose I have but one choice left. What's this? I feel something strange. Could this be Lavos' energy? This won't do at all. All my hard work will be in vain if I die before attaining immortality. It seems this is your lucky day. Farewell. Okay, looks like he's dipping. Okay, so... I'm gonna leave my HP how it is, and you guys will know why. This is the Man Machine Altar. Now is the time if you want to turn back, new. What is this gravita gravitational field? I detect incredible dimensional fluctuations. Your flirtations with Lavos are at an end, your majesty. You, your... Help. Shala. What are you doing, Shala? Control the machine. We must stop the machine with Sir Melkor's knife. Use the old man's knife, Chrono. Stop that accursed thing. Here we go, Mune. Ready when you are, Masa. Is that the Masa Mune? The Mammon Machine. It's too late. He comes. It's no use. The sword alone cannot stop it. Destruction rains from the heavens. Yep, and we're all dead. How long I've waited for this. It's been quite some time, Lavos. I swore on that day long ago that I'd destroy you, no matter the price. It is time to fulfill that vow. Feel my wrath, Lavos. You truly think you possess the power? What are you but a false prophet? You'll be no more than grazing for the great Lavos. Mother, please stop this madness. His power can only end in ruin. Step aside, Shala. The almighty life force of Lavos flows through us all. You are part of it. You cannot change the fate now. Oppose me and I will destroy you. Come, prophet of lies. Feel the power of Lavos. Ugh. My, my magic, he's draining it. I, I won't be beaten. I endured the darkness alone for the sole purpose of defeating you. Take this, Lavos. What? No effect at all. Fool, your pitiful powers are no match for his. I shall give you a gift, eternal life, as part of Lavos. Magus, you cannot die at the hands of some other foe. Your mind to defeat. The field of dimensional instability is expanding. We cannot stay here. Oh, I have to walk around? What did he say? Is Shala alright? Please, please escape, Chrono. Mere humans haven't the means to stop such power. 
Chrono, is it? Why not do as Shala says and run away? Tail bewitched your legs. Is your life not precious to you? Please. Okay. Can I talk to Robo? If we are caught in this energy field, our molecular structure will be decomposed. Can I go up to it? Gaze upon the power of Lavos and your doom. Sir Chrono. Oh no, Chrono. A chalice pendant. I haven't the power to defeat him then. The structure is collapsing. We must prioritize our escape. We must think only of our escape for now. The palace threatens to collapse. The last of my pendant's power will send you to safety. I know you will not be able to forgive her, but please do not hate my mother or our kingdom. I am so sorry. Now quickly, to the surface. Magus. Chrono. A tidal wave. Bro, get back inside. It's a tidal wave, dude. What are you out there looking, looking at it for? Danger, Chrono. Chrono. You've woken. You were most fitful in your sleep. Chrono, what of Chrono? We found no other. First Cyrus and now Chrono. Is this the village inhabited by the Earthbound? 
This island was the only refuge left after the Ocean Palace unleashed its ruin. No others remain. What tragedy. Is Sir Melkor here? When the disaster struck, an eerie black portal materialized before young Lord Janus. Melkor tried to save the boy prince, but succeeded only in getting himself dragged in as well. A black portal? Must have been a gate made by Lavos. And the girl Shala? That I cannot say. No one has seen her since. The Epoch. Is the Epoch intact? Your ship is a sturdier vessel than one might venture. She washed up safe and sound right in your wake. It was almost as though she were drawn to you. Ah yes, I believe this is yours. The pendant Chrono carried. It was sitting beside you, almost as though it were watching over you, guarding you. Take all the time you need to rest. I will be in the village commons just beyond. Okay, so Chrono is not in our party at the moment. Then let's go ahead and get Ayla in our party. Yeah, Ayla, because she has really strong attack. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, give it a save here. All of us are full HP, right? Perfect. Okay, let's see. So there's our Epoch. We can't get off this island. I guess we can explore a little bit. Surviving village. Oh. Hold on here. The Sun Temple of Zeal enshrined a sunstone. Such stones are made by bathing darkened moonstones in the sun's rays. Harvesting enough hard to create a sunstone. Okay. A few of the enlightened ones did survive, but no distinction remains between the enlightened ones and the earthbound now. Okay, so both humans, there were some survivors of both. Check back from time to time. He sells whatever washes up here. So if you wait a while, he'll most likely have some new things up for sale. Okay, magic capsule, perfect. Where did that new go? I wanted to talk to him. Buy? What can we buy from him? Oh, so these are just normal things. I don't need any high potions. Well, we're good on ether. Okay, we should be good. Come again. I guess we can go to the commons here. How can I survive in such a land without my magic? You'll need no need of magic to survive. Besides, you're not alone. I suppose you're right. We are alive after all. And so long as we are, we must hold on to hope. We've grown too dependent on that fearsome force. Everyone and everything was swallowed by the sea. The sea of clouds has parted and the blizzard at last abated. Could this long and terrible winter be at an end? Sleeping. Must have cried himself to sleep. Let him be. Feeling better, are we? Bow, pearls, and pay homage to your new uh, liege, King Dalton. Liege, King Dalton. Oh, this guy's still alive. Oh, we gotta fight him? Why ever the looks of disappointment? You should be thankful you survived. The crazed old crone, crone is gone, and that insufferable prophet with her. Henceforth, Zeal shall be known as the Kingdom of Dalton. You? You survived? That ship outside must be yours then, mustn't it? It matches Balthazar's designs perfectly. You're undeserving of such, splendid, of such a splendid toy. I shall make it my personal chariot. Surely, you jape. You will have to come with me. It would not do to have you whispering strange secrets in the ears of this mob. You might start a rebellion. But first, take this. What? Huh. Hey, what's that behind you? Bruh. Ha ha ha, a little taste of my power. That's, that's cheap, bruh. Did we for real get knocked out again? Unfamiliar environments. 
weapon, armor, all gone. All of our possessions are gone. Confounded, our money too. We must find a way to escape. Ayla can still fight. Go find weapon, fight bad man. Alright guys, I think that I'm going to end the episode off here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.